Hey there, marine enthusiasts. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most fascinating creatures in the ocean, the Greenland shark. This animal is not only the longest living vertebrate on Earth, but it also has a wealth of unique characteristics that have captivated scientists and researchers for years. So, let's dive in, pun intended, and explore the mysterious world of the Greenland shark. The Greenland shark, Somniosus microcephalus is a species of sleeper shark that can be found in the cold, dark waters of the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans. It's a relatively small species of shark, typically growing to lengths of 10 to 15 feet, 3 minus 4.5 meters, and weighing up to 1,000 pounds, 450 kilograms. But what makes the Greenland shark truly remarkable is its slow growth rate and late maturity. Greenland sharks are one of the slowest growing animals on the planet. They don't reach sexual maturity until they're around 100 to 150 years old, which is significantly older than most other shark species. This slow growth rate means that Greenland sharks have a much longer lifespan than other sharks, with some individuals estimated to live for over 400 years. As mentioned earlier, Greenland sharks don't reach sexual maturity until they're well over 100 years old. This means that they have a much longer juvenile phase than other sharks, which can last up to 50 years. During this time, they feed on small fish and invertebrates, gradually growing and developing until they're ready to reproduce. The lifespan of the Greenland shark is still a topic of debate among scientists, but some estimates suggest that they could live for over 400 years. This would make them one of the longest living animals on Earth, rivaled only by tortoises and some species of fish. Greenland sharks can be found in the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans, typically between the latitudes of 60 degrees north and 80 degrees north. They prefer cold, dark waters with temperatures ranging from 28 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 2 degrees Celsius, to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius. They can be found at depths of up to 7,000 feet, 2,100 meters, but are most commonly found between 1,000 and 3,000 feet, 300 minus 900 meters. Greenland sharks are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat whatever they can find. Their diet consists mainly of fish, squid, and other invertebrates. They have a unique way of hunting, using their slow movements and powerful jaws to ambush their prey. They're also known to scavenge carcasses, making them an important part of the Arctic ecosystem. The Greenland shark has several adaptations that allow it to thrive in the cold, dark waters of the Arctic. Its body is covered in a thick layer of mucus, which helps to protect it from the cold and lack of oxygen. It also has a unique respiratory system that allows it to extract oxygen from the water more efficiently than other sharks. Additionally, its slow metabolism and low energy needs allow it to survive in a food-scarce environment. In recent years, scientists have made several groundbreaking discoveries about the Greenland shark. In 2016, a team of researchers from the University of Copenhagen discovered a Greenland shark that was estimated to be around 400 years old. This finding sparked a flurry of interest in the species, leading to further research and studies. One of the most fascinating aspects of Greenland shark research is the study of their aging process. Scientists have found that Greenland sharks have a unique way of aging, which doesn't involve the typical growth rings found in other sharks. Instead, they use a process called otolith growth, which measures the growth of the shark's inner ear. This process allows scientists to accurately determine the age of the shark without the need for invasive techniques. In addition to aging, researchers are also studying the Greenland shark's habitat, feeding habits, and population dynamics. They are using advanced technologies such as satellite tracking and acoustic monitoring to better understand the shark's behavior and migration patterns. One of the key findings from this research is that Greenland sharks are not as rare as previously thought. In fact, they are found to be relatively abundant in certain areas of the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans. This is a positive sign for the species' conservation status, as it suggests that they may be more resilient to human activities such as fishing and climate change. However, there are still many threats facing the Greenland shark. They are vulnerable to overfishing, as their slow growth rate and late maturity make them susceptible to overexploitation. They are also threatened by habitat loss and degradation, as the Arctic and North Atlantic oceans are warming due to climate change. To address these threats, 
conservation efforts are underway to protect the Greenland shark. In 2019, the species was added to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, Red List, which highlights species that are threatened with extinction. This listing has raised awareness about the need to protect the Greenland shark and its habitat. In addition to conservation efforts, there are also ongoing efforts to study the Greenland shark in captivity. In 2018, a team of researchers from the University of Copenhagen successfully kept a Greenland shark in captivity for the first time, using a custom-built tank that mimicked the shark's natural habitat. The shark was able to survive in captivity for several months, providing valuable insights into its behavior and physiology. Overall, the Greenland shark is a fascinating and unique species that continues to capture the attention of scientists and the public alike. Ongoing research and conservation efforts are helping to better understand and protect this remarkable shark, ensuring that it continues to thrive in the Arctic and North Atlantic oceans for generations to come. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with us. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We always love hearing from you, so please leave your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below.